Okay, right up front, I am going to apologize for the tone of this this rant. Okay? If you don't like swearing, it's time to go ahead and click, okay, stop it, pause it, get off YouTube, at least on this channel. If you live in America and you believe that the democracy that the United States of America stands for represents freedom, happiness, or anything like that, go ahead and click pause, put me off as a fanatic, stop the video, you don't want to listen to this. The other day, maybe two days ago, I got another email from a patriotic American, right? And they're all, this. these ones are talking about how bad Mr. Obama is for the country and we need to vote in the moron, uh, Mormon, I'm sorry, hey, that like it's going to make a difference whether there's a Republican or a Democrat in the White House, in the United States of America. Like, if we get all worked up and get all the Americans go, oh my God, let's get rid of the black guy because he's done such a shit job, and get the Mormon, things are going to be different. Wake up, America. Wake up. To the man who sent me the email, don't send me that shit. I do not get involved in a completely corrupt process. It doesn't matter. Vote who you want to vote for. They're both puppets. As Bill Hicks said, on Inauguration Day, what will happen is whoever wins, they'll go, and when they go in that little building after they're inaugurated, they'll see a film, and it'll be the Zabruder films, and they'll watch Kennedy getting his head blown off, and they'll say, no, this is who we are, so you're going to listen to us. If you watch how Mr. O who walked into the Inauguration Building, Mr. Obama, and who walked out, significantly different person. The United States political system is completely corrupt. Do not send me your personal political bullshit candidates and why you back them because I think they're both assholes. I think they're corrupt. I don't think they represent freedom. I don't think they represent the happiness of the American people. A friend of mine said when there's a major event like a high school shooting or an attack on an embassy, he said, watch the news closely. And so the last time there was, and I don't even remember the event, I'm sorry, I apologize to all the people who were involved in it, that, who were innocent and got hurt and stuff, but on that day, the Obama government voted $600 billion in what they call defense spending, which what I call is offense spending. Okay? The United States spending $600 billion on offense spending to make their drones to drop bombs on innocent babies. If you think changing the president is going to make a difference in the hegemonic imperialistic systems that the United States is currently running, you are following so much propaganda, you have your head so far up your ass that the only color you can see is brown. I don't mean to be judgmental. Hmm, sorry, I guess I am. If you believe in that system, read some books. They're, they're, they've got these hard covers. Here's an. Well, I'm not going to show that because I don't want you to. Um, oh, here. Here's one here. I'm, I want my son to read. Okay, they've got these covers on them and then these pages in them. Right? And there's, there's letters. And they're called books. And you can get them on. I've got the uh, Kindle on my iPad now. But read, read particularly books by Noam Chomsky, who's had death threats, who's talked about the United States hegemonic. Uh, imperialistic ways for the last, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 years has he been writing? Don't send me your political bullshit. Richard, I'm putting this in just for you. I heard that the acronym for war, which it's not an acronym, I know, it's like fear, right, is want another Republican. <laughs> I hope you're at least chuckling with that. I just made a little, a little chuckle. But please, whether Obama gets back in or... Oh, what's his name? I know he's a Mormon. Oh, Romney. I'm Romney. There, there's not a political animal. His dad was governor of Michigan. He's a political animal. They're, they're reptilian by basis. They kill or be killed. They kill innocent people, and they represent you. It doesn't matter which one. Don't tell me what a bad job Mr. Obama's done. He has put $600 billion of your dollars, your tax dollars, which could go to education. Gee whiz, wouldn't that be unique? Or it could go to health care? Hmm. Wow, what would that look like if we had health care in America? It could go to feeding hungry people. Hmm, $600 billion. 
or it could go to more nuclear warheads to be stored in warehouses and to intimidate the shit out of the rest of the planet because we're the biggest, baddest, goddamn fucking bully on the planet. So please, if you have advice for me as to which political pundit you want me to vote for, keep it to yourself. Okay, Ike Eisenhower said... When the military-industrial complex takes over this country, our country is lost. That's a paraphrase. Our country's lost. It doesn't matter whether we have the Mormon or the nigger. Sorry. They're both the same. They're both the same card. They're both the same people until there's a complete reform to the democratic system. When billionaires and millionaires quit being president and being paid by the powers that be, it's going to remain the same. So if you're engaged, if you want to believe that one power is going to be different than the other, knock yourself out, please. But don't send your bullshit to me. Thank you very much. Boy, that felt good. <laughs> Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.